Today we're going to remove the cover of this brand new TBB Apollo Max Advanced Solar Inverter. I think this is the second generation of their hybrid off-grid. So right off the bat, the front, as you can see, the screws are on the sides already, not on the front. They're using flat screws here on the front. Now it's on the back. Second, there are only three status, inverter, charge, fault. The LCD buttons remains the same. And they remove the AC in and AC out MCBs, the one pull MCBs that you can just turn in and off. And now what they did is they have a singular cover, same thing, but uh, they enhance it so that you can easily put a filter on this. So the perforated is only one huge airflow. Unlike before, the cover is different. You have on the sides, now they remove it, so they place it, it everything on the bottom. And this one, you can place with the cable gland, you know, it's either you're going to use the existing ones they provided or all you have to do is to replace it with a cable gland. Okay, so let's proceed with opening this. Okay, so they have a different constructions. They have additional two in here and let's open it up. Oh yes. Still the LCD screen. Okay. There are some changes on this new setup the core still here they have still huge toroid core uh, the thread is different now second the secondary core is since this is 24 volts you only have one and you have two on the sides bolted let's have a comparison this one the new one and the other side is the old one Okay. On this side, as you can see, constructions wise, same huge toroid from the other side. They have two now, it's bolted on the side, so that prevents that from uh, doing a humming sound. If you are if you have been using a hybrid inverter or an off-grid inverter that uses any transformer, you can hear it. We just don't know what's the, which part of this, is this the AC charging side or the inverter side? And this one may be the AC charger or the MPPT. But I think this one is for the MPPT and this one, in he, uh, this one is more on the operations of the inverter. We're going to fire this up and also compare it to the thermal imaging of the system on the other on the uh, on the right side. They change one. Now they have fans is already on the middle. The previous one is at the back at the bottom. So they have this one. It's the if the five inch directly. As you can see, the airflow, airflow is going through the top. Excess 
cold on the bottom and hot air up and you still have the mini fuse so it's an 80 watts 58 VDC secondary another heat sink on the side so let's move it forward now you have the heat sink and huge array of uh, capacitor underneath it the secondary fan so now you have two fans secondary two inch fan and the primary five inch fans you have here all your power transistors we're going to check that what's their power transistor using this in the scope Hopefully, we'll be able to check also what's beneath the heat sink. I transferred to a better location to be able for us to see the entire bottom of the inverter. From your right side, you can still have your AC in, AC out 1, and AC out 2. And on top of it is your PV connection. Now, they incorporate the grounding connection which is good an improvement on the previous one in the middle of it you can see that there are the communication links and the left side you have this remote I think this one will be can on and off since they remove the uh, rocker switch they replace it with a more programmable which is I think same function applies but we're going to see more about that so let's take a closer look remote really one uh, really two really one and your EPO is still up and the other side is this the common uh, comsys another comsys comsync out and the com sync in your battery is on the left side now at first this was on the center now the communication part which is on upper part here is also they also have removed so everything now is on the center we're going to take a closer look again now we've seen the bottom part which is uh, the battery you have the positive negative they have the battery sample voltage in here this is very useful to get the actual voltage of your battery as previous they've changed to plastic and also the external which previously I've said you can change this. Replace it today, cable blend. Let's do a comparison on this. I'm going to show you what's the previous part. And also the uh, below is your new one. And the upper part is the old one. The previous model. So next step is we're going to energize this and see what's the difference between the old model and the new model. You can see that the fan is here, uh, the two inch fan. And the, there are yellow ones. I think these are your relay. Yeah, I think this one is your relay. That's it for now. If you have any questions, suggestions, thumbs up, and see you on next video.